Good up, Arno. So um, I'm feeling really connected to you right now because um, the reason I'm standing here is my mother. Um, she instilled in me a vision and a passion for community. And I'm here to talk to you about a future of healthcare, healthcare that can be made freely available to everybody that's easy to access. Call Matthew, call Waitakere, and I just want to say as well, thank you so much for the compassion and the connection that we've been creating during Welcome Week with the uh, Te Ata, Tananaki Iwi. I feel like I've been reborn as a New Zealander. So this is my mum. 2015, uh, she was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. It's a crippling illness, and I was fortunate enough to be able to spend quite a lot of time in the last year of her life with her. But one thing that I struggled with was that my very first telehealth project was nearly 20 years earlier, where we connected um, high-speed connectivity between two district health boards in the West Coast. And I couldn't understand why we had to manage my mother's health using Google Docs. I took a closer look and started to see there were much bigger challenges. Um, those of you from New Zealand will be well aware of nursing strikes. Um, it's the, the public health care system is grossly under-resourced, and those of my, my new friends from the States will be well aware of the burden of cost that has been put on people through insurance companies. But in New Zealand, it's a bigger problem. There are over 100,000 people that cannot get access to a doctor because they don't have a car. If you live in the Waikato and you're a woman, there's one in, one in three chance you're not actually going to be able to see a doctor on the day that you want to see them. And everybody's well aware of the issues that we have with rural health and mental health and inaccessibility for New Zealand, where we don't have GPs that are in regional New Zealand. And let's be honest, do you really want to go and see a doctor? It's not a fun experience. So we put it on your phone. We're all used to using these things. We buy pizzas, we order clothes, we do our shopping. So I've made it simple to get access to a full medical team. Nurses, doctors, clinical psychologists, Click, call, consult. The whole setup process takes less than two minutes. And most people that are currently using this get access to it for free because it's either covered by their insurance company or given to them by their employer. If you need a script, we can do that. And then we get somebody to deliver your medication to you in a courier. It takes no more than seven to 10 minutes out of your day. So I've removed the barriers of time, travel, and cost so you can start to take care of yourself. So this is Samantha Cook. In Napier, uh, she was finding that her patients were coming into her pharmacy because they couldn't get an appointment at the GP clinic. Now, she's able to use our peer-to-peer -peer platform to hand over a tablet, have that person have a consultation, and help them in their time of need. How would you like to see a doctor sitting in this room? quite a different experience. This is the future of work, where your employer is taking care of you and allowing you to live your whole life by giving you and your family access to free healthcare. Um, a quick shout out to Callahan Innovation. We wouldn't have been able to do this project without them. Um, they co-funded the R&D for a remote monitoring blood pressure trial. Now, why is blood pressure so important? Because we can pick up the likelihood of disease if we can tell what your blood pressure is. So, this is Brendan, uh, Dr. Terence, who's one of our GPs, and Andrea. And the cool thing about what these guys are doing is they have New Zealand's first subscription medicine service. Think kind of like Netflix, right? On demand, all you can eat, paid monthly. And it's kind of an unusual thing because this is the amount the government actually pays to keep you healthy at the moment. It's just you don't see it until you show up to a doctor. What kind of paradigm shift could we create if we could bring this type of commercial model to New Zealand? To be honest with you, I already have. And all I've been talking about isn't the future of healthcare, it's what's currently 
available now. So where do we go from here? We can connect our medical team to the devices in your pockets. We can, we're already monitoring blood pressure. We'll start to monitor glucose. And these devices are going to be freely available to everybody, very cost-effectively, around $30 per device. And to be honest with you, don't be surprised if within five years, your doctor and the first person you interact with is going to be an AI. We're not that far away from this. Also, I'm seeing and predicting a combination of Western and Eastern, and also EWI values when it comes to medicinal care. Uh, we have amazing Western methodologies for technology, but it's combined with Eastern methodology and EWI values that I think is what, and what I would like to see for our healthcare system. So I'm here, and the reason I joined EHF is to find partners. People that want to work with me to create the, a, a system or a public healthcare system that we want for New Zealand and then start to take that to the world. So thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me. I really appreciate everybody being a part of this today.